Hello everybody and welcome to another amazing video of DIY investing. For today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my favorite pick for hitting a 10x. Now, this isn't going to be a low cap or even a mid cap. This is going to be a high cap crypto that I think is going to see some of the most adoption over this next cycle and has some of the safest opportunities of actually getting a thousand percent returns on your initial investment. This crypto is seeing so much adoption that there's nothing else really competing with it. And that's why I believe that in the short term, anybody that's looking into this is going to set themselves up for a lot of financial opportunity over the next couple years. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And with that being said, let's jump right into this amazing video today. guys now the crypto that we are going to be talking about today is Arbitrum you guys know how bullish I've been on Arbitrum they've now finally had their airdrop everybody's claimed their tokens that was going to so shout out for anybody that's been watching this channel that was ultimately able to claim some tokens I was able to make more money in this airdrop than I've ever made in any of the other ones and so it was definitely a profitable opportunity to say the least now what we're looking at in the short term in my opinion the reason why I think that this is ultimately the safest 10x is considering the fact where it ranks in total market cap. If we come over here and look at the total market cap of cryptos and we scroll all the way down here to basically 40, number 39 is Arbitrum sitting at about $1.5 billion in total market cap. There are so many other cryptos that are ranked higher than it. And it's, I'm not surprised that it's ranked down there. Um, I wasn't sure where it was ultimately going to rank. I didn't expect it to go into the top 10 immediately, considering it was an airdrop. But I do believe that this one is going to see a lot more upside potential from here. You know, if we're looking at all of these, which ones to uh, buy into long term, in my opinion, Arbitrum is one of those that cements itself very thoroughly, very definitively when we're comparing it across the board on a lot of these other cryptos. And I think that that's proven inside of the data. We're going to be comparing this across the board on all of the other chains out here. And I'm going to be giving you guys an idea of exactly how powerful um, Arbitrum actually is right now. Now, when we're looking in terms of the TVL, our all-time high was $2.35 billion in total value locked. We went through the bear market, and then in July, we actually bottomed, and we've been uptrending ever since. Now, Arbitrum is just barely about to break out of those previous all-time highs into new all-time highs, and this is one of the most bullish-looking charts that I see in the market. Very obvious to tell that this thing has massive accumulation, and so I'm expecting that this thing is going to go parabolic, and with us having the token airdrop, I think that all of this is kind of fueling itself to have a massive uh, rise in value overall. Now, when we're comparing this, it's important to get an idea of what the total value locked looks across the board on all of the other chains as well. If we come over here and take a look at Ethereum, we can see that its TVL is way low down in here. It's not really done a whole lot, but it's sitting at $28.8 billion. It's the leader so far. Tron has been pretty consistent throughout the bear market, actually has performed well, sitting at about $5 billion. Binance Smart Chain sitting at about $5 billion as well, but it's pretty low. It's more consistent with Ethereum. In fact, it's even lower than Ethereum, which is surprising considering how well the price is actually held up for Binance. Now, looking at uh, Arbitrum, it's obviously taking off in a big way. Polygon, I know a lot of people have gotten angry at me for comparing uh, Arbitrum to Polygon and saying that Arbitrum is better. But when we're comparing it, Arbitrum is ranked higher in TVL. You know, Polygon only has about a billion dollars in to total value locked, whereas Arbitrum has over double that. So in my opinion, we're seeing the price of Matic holding up so well yet, the TVL is pretty much non-existent. I think that that's important. And that's important in looking at these details when it comes to what we're investing in long-term aside from Arbitrum. I think it's important that we consider these factors because the cryptos that are seeing rocketing TVL, optimism is basically right there with uh, uh, Arbitrum, which makes sense because they're both competing layer twos and they both had airdrops. And so I think that it's an important thing when comparing Arbitrum to really what we're seeing over here with Optimism. Arbitrum and Optimism, you know, Arbitrum's obviously the leader, but Optimism is a close second at about $931 million. We're just about to cross the billion mark. I believe that we're gonna be flipping Polygon, and both of these chains are gonna see a lot of upside appreciation. This thing is a very bullish chart right here. Shows a lot of accumulation and a market that's just about to skyrocket in terms of TVL. I would highly recommend looking into cryptos built into the Optimism ecosystem, as well as the Arbitrum ecosystem because these are two great opportunities that we see inside of the market. Now all the other ones for the most part, Avalanche is way low, Phantom is pretty low, 
Mixon is doing decent. Never heard of that one. Kronos is way low. DeFi chain pretty low. Solana is extremely low. And so you guys start to get the picture. You know, a lot of these are way low. And what we're seeing with Arbitrum and really Optimism are outliers. But specifically for this video, what we're comparing it to is Arbitrum. Now, when we're looking at the token price, we are starting to see some downside pressure. In my opinion, what we're seeing inside of the token price is a very clear A, B, and C type of correction. And the question is, where does the bottom of wave C take us? Is it 80 cents? Is it all the way down here at 50 cents? Is it a dollar? I have no idea, but all of that is gonna be determined around what happens with the price of Bitcoin. Now, at least in the short term with what we're seeing here, we can see that we have this pretty decent size sell-off, at least in the short term. If we drop it into the smaller time frames, we can see that for right now, we are technically closing below prior support under resistance. And so that's a very bearish sign. I believe that most likely we're gonna to continue to see some more downside from this move. Um, as you guys can tell with this candle right here. This was our support. You know, We can obviously tell that this has been an important level, both as resistance as well as support. We did temporarily have this breakdown, but notice how we reclaimed it right here inside of these two candles. Now, we've been consolidating off of this level a number of different times, and so to see us finally have this big break, lots of sell volume came in here, and now we're seeing our candle actually closing below. That tells us most likely that we're gonna continue to see downside. Where does that stack up on the big picture? Well, big picture, we know that we have our August highs, and so if we do retest those, it's not unheard of, considering the fact what we did, ha or what we have been talking about over the last few updates, has been we had clear skies above once we could clear the August highs. And we did break out right here, and we instantly teleported right to the bottom of this resistance. And so now that we're at this point, and we're seeing a pullback, I wouldn't be surprised if we came back and actually retested these August highs, considering how long it took us to actually break out of them. It was about 270 days worth of sideways accumulation before we did finally break out. So to see us actually pull back and retest this level, that would be looked at as a short-term buying opportunity, or at least I would. If that level became resistance, you know, if we dropped back down in here, and then we were looking at, you know, selling below this level, then at that point, we would ultimately be looking at more downside risk potentially. But, you know, we have to wait until we get there. We don't know what's gonna happen until we're there. And at least in the short term, what I see is the very real potential of downside risk. Closing below resistance, I would be watching for that. And I think that that's ultimately what's signaling the fact that we're gonna see one more sea leg here happening inside of Arbitrum. Whatever happens with Bitcoin, however low Bitcoin goes. But I mean, if Bitcoin goes to, you know, the neckline, or not the neckline, I guess, or basically the August highs, I would say, Bitcoin goes to the August highs, I think that we would potentially be dropping to about 80 cents. That makes you know a lot of sense to me. We have this entire candle here, so we're gonna be filling out wherever the heck we're gonna be finding short-term support, but it looks a lot like what we saw over here with Uniswap. You know, Uniswap pretty much did the exact same thing. The only difference is we don't have this giant wick at the top, um, but it's pretty much the most consistent type of thing that we see with a lot of these airdrops. Airdrops and even pre-sales, you'll see the same type of thing where they make this listing pump and then sell back down and go through a period of reaccumulation. And in my opinion, that's really what we're gonna see here. Um, with uh, Uniswap, we had this same type of correction, just a big ABC, ABC, all the way back down. We made our first higher high, consolidated here. And in total, you know, Uniswap took a lot longer from the very top to the point of us breaking out was like 100 days. Whereas when we're looking in terms of Arbitrum, it's only been, you know, four days and we're already somewhere inside of this move over here. So obviously this one's gonna be a lot quicker, but I just like to compare the two because this is kind of the same sort of consolidation that you're gonna get on a lot of these airdrops where they end up getting listed, they make you know their whatever they're gonna be rallying to, and then they end up selling off, making a short-term correction, and then that's when they ultimately start taking off. Now for the short term, I would be looking at this one as a buy opportunity somewhere, you know, around a dollar to about 80 cents. That's really the way I would be looking at it. It could go lower if Bitcoin really starts to mess around and have a big correction. But for the most part, this is one of those that I think isn't ranked as high as it could be. And I do think that long term we will see this one sitting in at least 
uh, a 10x from here. 1.5 billion, you only need to see 15 billion in total market cap for that to be a 10x. And I think that where we're at right now, long term, it's definitely going to happen. And so I think that this one is going to be one of those safer 10x's. It's one of the new cryptos that you can actually buy now. If we're looking in terms of what we're seeing across the board and all of these other ones, most of these have been around for at least one cycle. A lot of these are older cryptos. And if history has taught us anything, it's that these get shaken out. A lot of these will start dropping. A lot of these won't be around for the continued cycles. Some of these other ones will start to kind of take over. And when that happens, a lot of these new cryptos will start to go back up to the upside and actually take some of that market share. Arbitrum is the one that I do believe will because of what we're seeing inside of the, D, uh, the TBL. What we're seeing is really some of the most adoption. A lot of the most DeFi is really going over to Arbitrum as a whole. And it's showing some of the best buy support in terms of DeFi that we're seeing across the board of the market. That's something you want to pay attention for. That's something you want to be early to because the opportunity is truly limitless. Even if you didn't get the airdrop, you can still buy the token price. I think we're going to get some downside and that's going to be an opportunity to jump in. Anyways, guys, if you did find value in this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these updates. If you guys want to be able to learn more, if you guys want to know about airdrops before I ever talk about them on YouTube, if you guys want to be able to know the trade that I'm taking, my portfolio, anything that I'm doing inside of the market to make money, I post it inside of my Discord for everybody to follow. So if you guys want to be able to go ahead and do all of that stuff, links are going to be in the description to go ahead and sign up on my website. Links are in the description to check out any of the stuff on side of my channels, social media accounts, all of that stuff. You know, ultimately, I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate the support that you guys give me. It means the world to me. And that's why I try to give you guys some of the best analysis that I possibly can. This is one of my favorite picks long term. I've been talking a lot about it. And I think that this one's really going to be able to pay off in a big way. And so if you're watching this, be watching this in the short term. Be checking this out. Be paying attention to it. Because I think that this is one of those that's going to set up in a big way. Thank you all so much for checking this out. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. As always, peace out.